hi there good day and welcome to my channel my name is fred okay so i've been receiving uh, messages um questions on link mechanism okay folks have been asking me to attempt more examples on uh, link mechanism so this is just one example so i'm going to be attempting two examples actually uh, this is one of the examples so in my next upload i will um attempt the second example okay and upload um that will be on my next upload okay so now this is a question straight up now the question says the arrangement of a the arrangement of the crank and shaft of a link mechanism is as shown below as you can see all right so if the point c slides along guard this point c slides moves to and fro as indicative of um uh, these arrows okay slides along the ad plot the locus of the point p so there's a point p here on the link mechanism you, should, uh, you are required to what plot the locus of this point p assuming the crank rotates in a clockwise direction so this is a crank this is the shaft so this crank is pivoted at this point o and this is the shaft it, it's connected to the shaft or the connecting rod if you like at this point a so if this crank rotates okay something like this rotates moves one revolution what would be the profile of the point here p all right so what happens um in this arrangement is this as this crank okay moves in a clockwise direction this point c this part here slides along that so it drags it backward and pushes it forward like that okay so there's a turn fro movement here all right why there is a rotary um motion on this part so what would be the profile of this point p so let us start. Now, before we start, uh, if this is your first time of attempting a question like this, I will strongly advise you go see a video I did on simple link mechanism. That's the first example, okay? That will lay the foundation on um, understanding this very question. Okay, so let's uh, move straight up. So what we're going to do is, we're going to draw a circle. Now, the data has been given. So AO, AO, the crank, is 28 millimeters. AP, AP, okay, is 60 millimeters, while OC, this point here, OC, is what? Um, 68 millimeters. So the first thing you do is you take the what? The length of this AO and draw, inscribe a circle with it. Now we're going to divide that circle into 12 equal parts, and that will what? Indicate the path, okay, of rotation, okay? All right. Okay, so stretch the length AO, okay, 28. So this is 28, that's 2.8, okay, on my ruler. And inscribe the circle with it. Okay, so we inscribe a circle. Thin lines, please. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Now, do not forget, there is what? A path here, where this point C will slide in God. So what I will do is, while drawing the diameter of the circle, I will extend the line, all right? So extend out like this, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. You already know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, check other videos. I already um, explained how to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Okay, so there it is. Um, it has been divided into 12 equal parts. So the next thing is, we're going to transfer the whole of this arrangement, okay, into um, what has been drawn here, right? So we're going to um, indicate AO now, okay, and draw what the crank using the, this information. So how? Now you can, all of these you're seeing, all of these divisions, okay, they are representing what AO as it moves one um, revolution. Okay, so I can just choose either this or this as my first or initial arrangement now the initial arrangement is always thick lines okay so i use this so you're going to draw this line thick okay thick line and this is your what a o a o representing this one a o all right so how do i get this other part now do not forget this is what oc 68 so i'm going to make your 68 that's 6.8 from this point remember it is from this point from o to c 6.8 so this is 
eight here that's 6.8 now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this point 6.8 through a and extend out okay so what i will do first is use a thin line i will use thick line later so i will connect 6.8 through this point a okay with a thin line okay so i've gotten this part so what i'll do is that i will now measure ap here ap is 60. so i will bring my ruler and measure the distance ap which is 60. So this is 60. So this is my P, my point P. So I can now draw with thick line up to P. Now remember this is P. Okay. So that's it then. I can erase this extra. Because this is just the point P that I need. All right. So what we are going to do next is now what this simply means now remember this is C okay now what this simply means is that at this point okay this position you have P here and you have your C here so let me since this um, mechanism is moving clockwise don't forget clockwise okay so let me say this is 1 so this is point 2 going clockwise now 3 four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so the next thing is so now if this is one let me call this c1 and let me call this p1 so at one i have my c1 here my p1 here so at two okay uh where would be my c2 and p2 so it's simple now as this crank moves like this okay you have c2 somewhere there and p2 somewhere uh, around this area so how do you get it now get your pair of compass and measure ac and fix it as a constant okay so this is ac all right just extend ac so i'm going to keep this my ac like this throughout the drawing all right then again let me measure AP now remember AP 60 so you can just come to your ruler and measure 60 or just come over here and needle on A and stretch to P okay so I will keep this one fixed as well so I'm keeping this one fixed for AC and I'm keeping this one fixed for what AP all right so the next thing is now take this AC now all right move to number two make sure you don't um, alter the radius throughout the drawing so you move to number two and cut an arc so if this is c1 this now becomes c2 why because this is the point two so what i would do now is with thin lines now you no longer use thick lines you use um you make it of thin lines throughout the drawing so you needle on sorry you place your pencil on c2 and draw through through two okay this is the point two so i will draw a line from c2 through two thin line okay so what I'm going to do next is, remember, if this were to be, my, if this were my initial A, C, and P, this is now my new A, okay, my new C, and my P will be somewhere here. So how will I get my P? Remember, I already measured 60, right? Yes, yeah, 60. Or simply stretch AP. Okay, so I'll come over here, 2. I will needle on 2, and I will locate P2 here. So this is my P2. Can you see it here? So I will just ball it. And that's my P2. This is my P1. And this is my C2. So I will repeat the same thing for 3, 4, 5. So for 3, let me extend the line out. Let me extend this line. Okay. So for 3, now there is no point cutting for 3 because it's along the horizontal, but for. Um, okay, needle here. So just cut an arc here, although we don't really need it, and call it C3. So if that's C3, now this is AP. So you move over to 3 and locate P. So this is my P. Alright? 
So this is what P3 now. So um, I move to 4. You need to do the same one. Remember, this is your AP. Sorry, AC from the beginning. So you needle on 4. Cut an arc. So 4 and 2, they are intersecting at the same point. So I call this C4. Remember, it's this point. Okay? So draw a line, a thin line from 4. Remember, this is 4. Through 4 here right a thin line and what do you do next now you take your ap all right and move over here to four and locate p4 so this becomes p4 sorry about that so for five you take this again a C and go to five point five cut an arc on this line. This is the point here. I think five and um, four should be on the same point approximately. Okay, so this is our C. Okay, let me say this is C5. Okay, so needle on your pen on C5 and draw through five a thin line. Then you bring this AP. All right. You come over here and needle on that line. All right. So here we have P5. So you continue like that for six. Sorry. Okay. So um, you needle on six here. Okay, cut an arc. So you connect this point, okay, call it C6. Connect this point through six. Thin line. Then AP, which is 60. Come over to six. And locate P6 at this point here. So keep going until you get to C12. Okay, so if you do everything correctly, this is what you get at the end of the day. All right. Now let me just quickly um, talk about this point 9 so you don't get confused. Just like 3. The point 3. So for 9, all right, you needle on 9. Okay, there's no need actually. Okay, but just for the purpose of this class, we just indicate 9 there. Okay. Then what you do next is you join, but you can see the line is already on the horizontal, so there's no point drawing another line. So what do you do next? You come here, you needle on line. Now remember, this is the A, P. Okay? You needle on line, and you make this dot here. And that is C9. Alright, so the next thing you do is connect this uh, local, this point with um, a French cover, a broomstick. If you don't know how to um, draw curves, okay, there's a video I also did on how to connect curves using broomstick. And French curve, you can go see that video, so you'll be able to draw this. Okay, so when you're done, you should have a smooth curve like this one. Please ensure your curve is very, very smooth, okay, like this. All right, so um, I'm going to treat example number two, and I will upload. Um, I'm going to upload the video in my next upload. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, as we'll be uploading more videos. Have a nice day, everyone.